guys, and welcome to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler, and this is our very first episode of 2021, so pretty excited. This is just a hint of how we're going to do 2021 this year, guys. You know, I got all my information on this, so I'm not going to try to show it like that. But, unboxing knife today is the Best Tech Swordfish. Two civilis and this. So let's start off with this. Obviously, this isn't a knife, but this is from We Knife Co. And this is the world's smallest titanium knife, or pen. Thought this was much bigger, actually. <laughs> this thing's tiny as hell. Put that into perspective. Looks way bigger in the pictures. Pretty cool, though. And I actually I could probably get used to writing with it. All right. Pretty sweet. I was like, oh sweet, my first pen. Get it in 2021, we'll open it up. No, dumb, 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 dumb. All right, as you can see, these are both Savivis. And I don't know how to open up a fucking box. Okay, sorry about that. My kids started crying. It's like 11 o'clock at night. That's why I'm trying not to be super loud. So here's the first Savivi that we have. Never felt this before. This is the Savivi Hooligan. With pretty good action. Not really drop shot. But it's just super light. The detent is stupid light. This is pretty sweet. You almost barely have a four-finger grip. It's almost a little bit too small, but the reason that I got the Hooligan, I know it's an older model, is because we also got the Savivi Pintail. Now, when I looked at the Hooligan, and I looked at the pintail, I see almost, almost the exact same knife. This is almost a mixture between the Elementum and the Hooligan. So, S35 blade, action, better than the Hooligan, probably indicating bearings. This is an $85 S35 blade. Just saying. All right, with my Carta handles, ambidextrous pocket clip, great fit and finish, flipper or thumb stud, choke up position, decent ergonomics. So the whole reason I got these two together is I'm gonna obviously compare these two. But really the coupe de gras is to get you guys some action on the Civivi Pintail. This is the Civivi Hooligan. And this is like the wee world's smallest pen, which looks way bigger online. So I'm not, again, these aren't reviews. These are just show and tells of the knives, an unboxing, and a very quiet talking as to not wake up my two-year-old son. But the Hooligan almost has, let's see here. I'm not gonna say better ergonomics because the problem is, is the Hooligan wants to force your fingers into there and what that does is by forcing your fingers into those slots it leaves for a barely third position here and it's all because it forces your fingers into here if it didn't force your fingers and you use the choke up position which is kind of small that finger toil is kind of small if you used it like this 
then it feels great. But then again, you're missing the thumb ramp there, so you have to hold it like this. It just feels kind of weird. This one doesn't force you into any positions, and it just, even though my finger's falling off, it feels natural. And the choke up position, because you're pulling down instead of in, still feels natural. So, I mean, even the pintails got it on the ergonomics there. But it's probably thinner behind the edge. It just comes down. But even the action, I mean, that's pretty sweet. I'm kind of excited about this guy. I hope you guys are too. So, that is the very uh, Bob Ross version of the unboxing, first unboxing for Everyday EDC in 2021 of the Civivi Hooligan, the Civivi Pintail, and the Wii Whistle Blowing Pen. My name is Tyler. This has been Everyday EDC. Welcome to 2021, guys. Bam. Let's do this. You're way better than the last. Have a great day.